All right, uh, I can see clips attached to the floorboard here. I can reach up in here and get one of them, but they run along the side here. Um, I know it's not the way that the book says to do it, but I'm going to try it anyway, and they'll probably prove me wrong, so that's just the way it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, these floorboard bolts up. There's four of them here. Those are 10 millimeter bolts, and uh, I'll take those up and see if I can uh, release this floorboard up with these side skirts at the same time. Probably not, but I got to do it anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Once again, uh, 10 millimeter socket on these bolts. Here feels stripped, or it's in the crook or something. I don't know. And that one's definitely stripped from the factory that way. That's the front right. Next, we take out the uh, CDI, it's just held by a clip. Put up. I discovered a, uh, another bolt in the floor. There's no room for a socket to spin around in there, so. myself to uh, say that every damn piece of plastic is going to come off of this thing. And we'll go from there. So we'll start at the top and work our way back to the floorboard, I guess. I got the uh, side skirt mostly off on the other side. I guess I'm just being a little too gentle on this thing. I know how uh, if you break these tabs, it's just going to make it more loose and loose. So. Just trying to really be careful with this thing. Ah, oh, shit. There's two. Three, I guess. And it's off. You see where they taped it? Little bit of dirt in there and I've hardly had it out anywhere. There's another screw in there that I missed. Uh, that's why they wouldn't separate so keep that in mind if you're taking one apart. Alright so now I guess the floorboard should come up. The wire should be out in the house. See if I get where the locations of the tabs are. Let's 
looks like it should just pull backwards. One side. Ta-da! 